The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 339. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is the CEO and founder of Jet Set Go, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Kanika Tekriwal. Kanika, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, Sheena. Thank you so much for having me on the show. You've been doing a great job of it. Uh, I run a small private jet company based out of India. We're basically uh, India's largest private jet and helicopter fleet. And we've made flying private very, very easy. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what's your cultural background? I I predominantly belong to India. I was born in a small town called Bhopal. And, uh, you know, I come from a community called uh, the Marwari community, which is predominantly the, the business community of India. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for sharing that. And Kanika, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Um, You know, I'm often caught telling people that throughout a journey, you're going to encounter a lot of no's. Use every no as a stepping stone to success and turn every no into a yes through your journey. Thanks for sharing that. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? You know, I get asked, how would you define self-confidence very, very often? And, you know, as I've grown as an individual and as a person, I have dwelled deeper and deeper into it to actually figure out, you know, what it means to me. And I think what what's come out to me over the past 28, 29 years is that self-confidence is basically believing in yourself. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect the rest of the world to take you seriously or believe in you. So if you believe on yourself, there's nothing in the world that can stop you from achieving what you want to achieve or going out and doing what you want to do. Thanks for sharing that. And I totally agree. I mean, it really does start with believing in yourself and working on yourself because if it doesn't start with you, how do you, how do you expect to attract the right things into your life or have people believe in you? And it, this is, I think, a problem that most women, especially women of Asia, in Asia countries or Asian descent, like go through, right? They just feel like they don't believe in themselves to do something greater, to do to live their own lives. and you know, so many women out there are struggling with their confidence. So I really love that definition that you mentioned. And Kanika, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? You know, Sheena, coming from a very orthodox part of India and being brought up in a very orthodox family, uh, I think I always grew up believing that, you know, we, we have to please others. We have to do what society demands that we do. We have to live life a certain way. We have to dress a certain way, eat a certain way. Maybe not to please ourselves, but to please the world. I think my biggest learning from before and after has been that, you know, live to please yourself, not to please others or on other people's terms whatsoever, number one. And, you know, another uh, thing was I was because of, you know, constantly trying to, um, I think, please others, I had forgotten to start believing in myself at all. So that's really changed now. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we all go through, right? The pleasing, um, especially as women, we feel like we always have to please everybody, not realizing like we can't please everyone. <laughs> it's totally impossible. Yeah. We're, we're going to, there's someone who's not going to like us or someone who's going to think we're, we're too much for them or, you know, they're just, we won't vibe with them. And that's okay because sometimes they're not the people that you're supposed to be with. And, you know, what was that point, yeah. what was that point in your life when you realized that like you didn't have to keep doing that? Like, what was your aha moment? You know, so I, as you're aware, I was diagnosed with cancer about um, seven to eight years ago. And uh, when I was a 21, 21 and a half, 22. And I mean, as soon as the diagnosis came in and as soon as I realized that I have to fight this disease, the first thing I was told was don't tell the world that you have cancer. Your acceptability in the world will go down. And that's when I said, you know, forget it. There is no more living to please other people or living to keep other people happy. It's now going to be only about me, myself, and I. And it just clicked. You know, there was no uh, pondering, deliberation, nothing. It was just from this to that straight away. Thanks for sharing that. You know, sometimes something as 
as crazy as like you know getting diagnosed with cancer can actually be a wake-up call for you which was this which was for you you know just you decided i'm just going to do things my way you know i'm sick of absolutely yeah. sick of telling of i'm sick of people telling me what to do and and because of that realization what's your life been like now I think now I've, you know, I've pretty much lived life the way I wanted to live it, done what I wanted to do. I continue to do what I want to do, things that make me happy. You know, I work because I like to work. I run this company because this is something I'm very, very passionate about. You know, I mean, it's, it's completely uh, turned in my favor now. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, it's great that you've been able to do things your way, you know, just go out there and do it. Sometimes we just have to take action without thinking and we might fumble along the way, but it always leads us to our path and kind of like what you did. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? Uh, I think I would say, you know, always believe in yourself. Don't let the world influence the way you think about yourself. Thanks for sharing that. And I love that you mentioned, you know, don't let the world kind of change how you see yourself because it's it's so crazy, especially with media, right? And especially for women, like yeah. the standard of beauty is one thing. Like they just, you just feel like you're not beautiful enough because you're not the same person as the cover of the magazine or a big billboard. Not realizing, Absolutely. Not realizing it's like, you know, altered to a T where they're not even recognizable. And it's just like this false beauty that the world portrays sometimes. And it's, it's a shame, right? I mean, I think we just need more authenticity in this world so love the tip that you mentioned and if our listeners want to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with um you know they're most welcome to go to our website that's www.jetsetgo.in uh, i'm on twitter uh, that's again at jetsetgo in we're also on facebook so i think that that'll tell, tell everyone everything about us Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Kanika, you can also head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence.com and search for Kanika's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Kanika for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sheena, for having me over. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Sign up for our free membership site to get more amazing resources for self-confidence by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.